Welcome to EJH British Cars for another exciting episode of TR2 Restoration. Sorry for the overdose, but the internal mic stopped on the camera. So today we're going to put wrist pins or gungeon pins into these new pistons, and they are shrink fit into the pistons, which means you have to heat the pistons to get them to expand to accept the uh, gungeon pin. So. I uh, went and bought a pan because I don't suggest you put, use any of your wife's pans. And I've got heated water on the stove now. And as you can see, these will not move just pushing them with my fingers. There's no circlips in here. So we're going to go ahead and put these into the water and let them heat up for a minute or two. There we go. So it's the water is probably 160, 170 degrees, and we will check that a little bit later but we'll come back after this had a minute to heat soak so it's had a couple of minutes now it's not very long we'll go ahead and pull it out of the pan carefully not to drip everything all over and you'll see now as I push that it quite readily comes out of the hole with just pushing with one hand my finger so it's a little it's a little sticky but it's not bad so the instructions with the piston and liner kit said to Make sure that all the parts stay as they came because the pistons, the pins are in the pistons, the pistons are in the liners. So marking everything with just a felt tip pen, A, B, C, and D, because I wasn't quite sure which order I'm going to put them in the engine yet. I weighed and cleaned up the uh, rods so they're all approximately the same weight, but I've also weighed the pistons. And they're very close. They're only a couple of grams difference between them all, but I'm going to match up heavier pistons, lighter rods, and try to get everything as balanced as I can. So as you can see, I clean that up with a grinder a little bit just to help remove the excess weight on the heavier ones. So while we've been doing that, I put another piston in the warm water. And let's pull that out. It's only been in two or three minutes just while I've been chatting away here. Shake the water off. And as you can see, again, the push out so incredibly easy. It's always just amazing. Just that little bit of heat and of course I'm marking everything so I can match them back up when we put it all back so together. So as promised, here's a check of the temperature. This is just a meat thermometer so it's not crazy accurate but it's reasonably accurate. And it looks like we're at about, oh, well done roast beef, about 170 degrees. And that's worked out quite nicely and not being quite as hot as boiling, it's been easier to deal with it with just a pair of gloves on. So, not bad. So, this is just a stainless steel bowl I picked up at the local Go Wills, like four bucks. So, cheap enough at the price. Well, that's all for today. Just a quick one. So, I hope you enjoyed learning how to install gungeon or wrist pins when they're press fit into or shrink fit into the uh, pistons. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And sorry for the overdubs earlier, but my camera's external microphone apparently stopped working for some reason. Anyway, see you next time.